Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin, and today we are going to be diving into a notebooks and stationery I've used up video, video, video. This is a series that I like to do here on my channel, just talking you through some of the stationery that I've recently used up. Let me know if you guys can relate, but I personally love the feeling of using up a stationery item, especially when I'm trying to work through and sort of manage my ever-growing stationery stash. I'm definitely not immune to the pools of shopping for stationery. I see that new pen, I want that notebook, but there is something special, I think, that happens when we look at what we already have and are able to fully appreciate it. Let's kick this video off with the notebook that I recently finished. This is quite an oldie. If you recognize this notebook, let me know in the comment section below because you're like OG pen friend right here. But this is a notebook, like I said, that I've had for a really long time now. It's one that my sister gave me. This notebook marks an era of pre-Fountain Pen Devon, so I wasn't really too concerned about the quality of paper and such for my notebooks. I just wanted notebooks. So the paper in here definitely wouldn't fare well with fountain pens. If you're curious, it's by Lehman, I think, and I will do my best to find links to everything that I talk about today, and I'll leave that in the description box below. This notebook did have my sister's company logo embossed on the front, but I just put a passion planner sticker on the front. It just says, may all beings be happy, and that was from 2018. I don't know if they still have that sticker, but the words still ring true. Initially, I used this notebook as sort of a work bullet journal. I had a lot of work-related things in here as well as my own little calendar just to keep track of the days that I was working and things that I maybe needed to take care of, deadlines and such. But about halfway through the notebook, I started using it as a health and wellness journal. And I believe I have a video on that as well. I'll have that linked off in the description box below if you're curious to see how I set up that. I don't know if I was already working in this one or if I was wrapping up an old one. While it's not the most exciting thing, I was able to finish off this notebook just keeping track of my program and all the days that I was training. And for that purpose, I felt like this was a really great notebook for that. It did get a little beat up, but it did its job, and I'm excited to be moving into a new notebook for all of my strength training programs. The next stationary item is a stick of planner glue. Now, I know that doesn't sound as super thrilling and exhilarating as finishing up a notebook, but this was actually a bittersweet moment for me when I used up that last little bit of glue. This planner glue pen was given to me by my sister. A lot of stationery that I love and adore has been kindly gifted to me by my sister. I feel like she kind of understands my stationery addiction. I believe she got this in a set when we were at Hobby Lobby, and in hindsight, I wish I had picked up a set for myself, maybe even two, because this glue is so easy to use and I feel like it really does a good job of adhering whatever it is I'm trying to paste into my journal. I've never had issues with like the corners lifting or anything. I feel like this glue pen did its job. I feel like I did a pretty intense Google investigation on this planner glue pen and to my dismay, I cannot find it. So if you have any idea as to where I can find the Prima Marketing Ink Planner Glue Pen, please let me know. I went to the website, like there's a website on here and I think you can only buy it wholesale, but I think they were out of stock at that time. I'm, ve I'm very sad that this is gone, but my sister kindly gifted me another one from her set. So Atha, if you're watching this, thank you. It's, it's so good and I don't know how else to express to you how excited I am and how good this like glue pen is. Next up, I finished two Pilot Friction pastel highlighters, one in mint pastel green and the other one in pastel pink. I honestly was surprised that I finished up these, I guess I used pink and green quite a bit. I still have the other colors in that set that are 
still going strong. If you're unfamiliar with the Pilot Friction Highlighters, it uses a heat sensitive technology and on the end of the highlighter, there's like a little eraser quote unquote. I like that I have that ability, but more so, I think I like these highlighters for the colors. I don't think that I erase a lot of my highlighter markings, but it is very handy to have just in case. I feel like these also work really well with my fountain pens. I think it minimizes a lot of the feathering that can happen when you're putting ink on ink. Speaking of fountain pens, I did finish up the Midnight Blue Kaveco ink cartridge and I had that in my Sport Skyline Mint. And I did receive some compliments and inquiries from you guys about this ink when I did use it. It's a lovely ink. It was one that was sent to me by my pen friend Peter. So Peter, if you're watching this, thank you. I I think I still have another cartridge of it and I really like the idea of pairing it inside a light mint body. I like that contrast. I know the Midnight Blue from Kaveco can seem like a very ordinary ink and therefore you might just glance over it and move on to something that has like shimmer and sheening but if you need a nice little workhorse of blue ink that is on the darker side, I would definitely recommend the Midnight Blue. I also finished up one of the ink cartridges in my High Tech C Coletto. This is my limited edition Sailor Moon barrel. It's a little warped. I'm not sure what's going on with the grip. But as I mentioned, I did finish up one of the cartridges. It was the Aqua, I believe and it had the limited edition Sailor Moon topper. I basically use this pen for my strength training and programming, so I used it in combination with this notebook. I have talked about the High Tech C Coletto on my channel before, but I don't think that I've talked about it recently. So if you wanna check out my previous videos, I'll have some linked in the description box below. I do like the High Tech C Coletto because it has that needlepoint tip I've always enjoyed fine point pens and this is no exception. I wanna say that it is a 0.4 needlepoint tip, but check the description box below. I'll have the links and everything so you can get the correct info. I loved having multiple colors for my programming. That way I could kind of see like what it is that I had programmed versus what I actually lifted that day. If you need or want color coding, I feel like this would be a really great option. I did finish some washi tape, which was really exciting. This is the first roll of washi tape that I have seen through to completion. And I just have this like little bit hanging right here, but it's not really usable since some of the cardboard from the holder or from the inner circle got onto the adhesive. I, I guess I could glue it down somewhere, but I don't know. I'm not sure that I could be bothered at this point. I think I used a lot of this when I was packing up orders from my Poshmark and Mercari, as well as a lot of pen pal letters. I'm sad to see it go, but also feeling really accomplished and rewarded that I used up some washi tape because I have a lot of washi tape and I just, I can only hope that I get through all of my stationery in this lifetime. I would love to hear from you. What stationery have you used up recently? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. You can also connect with me over on my blog. That's devinlu, D-E-V-N-N-L-U-U.com. I'll also have a link to that in the description box below. In case you missed it, I have recently switched over to a new upload schedule of every Wednesday morning. So please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.